All right, what's up everybody? It's your boy Akeen and welcome to this vlog. I'm here to talk about the Penn State Nittany Lions for the 2015 college football season. Now under his first year as head coach, James Franklin led his team to a 7-6 overall record last season, winning the Penn Stripe Bowl over Boston College at the end of the year. Now last year, the reason why, the main reason why they had um, so many losses is because of the poor play at quarterback with Christian Hackenberg. He had a huge Huge sophomore slump last season. Now, as a true freshman, he had 20 touchdown passes to just 10 interceptions and sacked just 21 times. Now, last season, though, he was sacked 44 times, just 12 touchdowns, and 15, count them, 15 interceptions. He needs to do a better job, and he struggled a lot this past season, and hopefully he could get some help this year. Now, he does have a running back behind him and a killed Lynch, who I believe should have a good year. He needs to step it up to take away pressure away away from Christian Hackenberg. But great news for Hackenberg, he does have his top two receivers returning this year, and Deshaun Hamilton and Geno Lewis, two good players to throw to for this upcoming season. Now on the defensive side, they do have two seniors who definitely can lead things away on the defensive side with Anthony Zeffel, the first team on, on all Big Ten honors last season with 37 tackles last year, seven sacks, and three interceptions. A good versatile player. And they do have a good senior safety and Jordan Lucas, who had um, five pass breakups last season. I think this is a, actually the five pass breakups were for um, Anthony Zeffel, but a good safety and Jordan Lucas, a decent player overall. Now, as far as the recruiting class, they did exactly what they needed to do find more protecting players for Christian Hackenberg. And they picked up two, their top two players was actually offensive tackles. The number 12 offensive tackle in Sterling Jenkins, who can start right away, weighs just over 300 pounds and at 6 foot 8. And um, at number 13, um, offensive tackle and Ryan on um, battles a decent player they think this is a good pickup as well now as far as the cornerbacks they do had two uh, good run cornerbacks to pick up the number 10 quarterback and, and Garrett Taylor the six foot one 187 town pounds excellent size excellent frame the at the size that you want the cornerback to be as well as the number 16 quarterback and John Reed 5'10, 190 pounds not exactly six foot one but he does have enough height to face against bigger receivers and one speaking of wide receivers they did pick up the number 24 wide receiver who I definitely have my eyes on based on his measurements. At 6'5", 212 pounds, Jawan Johnson. He could possibly get some playing time as a true freshman, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing him in 2016. Now, overall this year, I'm looking for Christian Hackerberg to improve and race his draft status for the 2016 NFL Draft unless he decides to stay as a senior. I think this team can go 9-3 and three overall, and this will be a great year for Coach. Franklin and he could possibly lead his team to a 10 win season depending on the bowl matchup but I have them going 9 and 3 overall based on their strength of schedule they don't really have a strong schedule they have many weak opponents so they should definitely take advantage of that going 9 and 3 now the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes I have three more blogs for you for the Big Ten Conference thank you for watching this blog I'm your man Akeem McCall be easy